So in this uh, video, let's talk about this concept of entropy. That is what we're going to be using for our cross entropy loss function in uh, logistic l regression. So if you've taken a physics course, um, even an introductory physics course in, in our sequence, it's, a, it's the second semester of introductory physics, physics 102. Um, or if you've taken a more advanced thermodynamics course, you may have encountered the concept of entropy. You probably have also seen it in, the, in, in chemistry course, physical chemistry. Um, so usually it's written as entropy S is the Boltzmann constant K times the natural log of W. And W is, um, can be many things, but uh, in our case we'll think of this as the multiplicity of the state. Um, so if we have, let's say, um, a, a number, a large N particles that we're trying to divide between states i, and so we put little n sub i um, particles in state i, so if we divide these particles between two states then we'll have i equal 1 and i equal 2, and n equal 1, or, or n1 plus n2 will have to be equal to large n. So that multiplicity can be written as n factorial over the product of the little n factorials. So um, again, in the case of two states, that will be n factorial, and then here we'll have little n factorial, and then big N minus little n factorial. So that's a, a formula you may have um, have seen before. Essentially, it, it corresponds with um, picking n big a, a big n marbles out of a bag and putting them into um, into little bins, and uh, each bin will have correspond to the state i and we'll put little n sub i marbles in bin i. So we can use this expression for the multiplicity together with Stirling's formula to turn this into a different expression. So um, if we uh, if we look at this, um, so our n factorial here will become n log n minus n, or little n factorials will become um, that as well. Uh, since we have a logarithm of a product, we can turn this into a sum over logarithms of this little n factorials. And ultimately, we're going to end up with minus k, minus because we're turning the product in the, in the denominator into a numerator. We we'll get a sum here from our product since we've taken it out of the logarithm. Then we have our n over uh, little n over big n log little n over big n. And we sum that over all of the different bins. Now, the last thing we can do is think about little n over big N as the probability that we get a marble in bin I. Um, if we start off with big N 1,000, 1,000 marbles, and there's 10 marbles in bin 1, then that means that there was a 1% probability for each marble to end up in that bin. So we get minus K times the sum of a probability times the logarithm of a probability. So that is, in physics, or in, in combinatorics, um, how you might come about to, um, uh, to this concept of, uh, of entropy and how it is maybe related to um, probabilities in this uh, case of, uh, of using multiplicity. So it will turn out that something very similar will happen in information theory um, and we'll write something very similar where we have a product of a probability with the log of that same probability. So that will be um, in the next video when we go into the information theory um, definition of entropy.